Hello everyone. So in the last class we discussed the topic the multiplication of integers, right? So when we are multiplying the integers, so we know we discussed the few points that the product of two positive integers it is a positive integer, and the product of a positive and one negative integers so it is a negative integer. The product of two negative integers it is nothing but positive integers. So this is the main important point we discussed, and also so whenever so we are multiplying uh, the even number of negative integers so we will the product we will get a positive whenever we are multiplying the odd number of negative integers so then we will get the product is negative so that we learned in the previous class and we seen the examples related to that so now to today we going to start the exercise 4 so in exercise 4 the first question it is a fill in the blanks so it's very simple just we have to multiply the numbers and we have to write the answers so see the first question so minus 100 into minus 6 so here so minus into minus so we know that the product of two negative integers so product of two negative integers it is nothing but how much it is a positive integer right so minus into minus so the answer whatever it is plus we will get so 100 into 6 so 106 so it is nothing but 600 so the answer is plus 600 or 600 okay so now see the second question so minus 3 into dash equals to 3 so here we have to use an appropriate integer so now see the minus is there here minus 3 the same 3 we are getting but here we have a minus but here we have a plus so it means so when we will get the product is plus if you are multiplying the negative integer with the negative integer right so it means whatever the number you are taking that number definitely it should be a negative integer only so it means it is minus so 3 so in 3 tables so 3 ones are 3 so it means so the answer is what minus 1 so minus 3 into minus 1 it is nothing but plus 3 so minus into minus plus 3 ones are 3 so it is plus 3 or just 3 you can say right now see the third one so 100 into minus 6 so 100 into minus 6 the same so here we have a both the first question if you see minus into minus so it is plus but here what is there nothing means plus so plus into minus it is nothing but minus so 100 into 6 it is nothing but 600 so now see the next one so minus into minus so minus 20 into minus 10 right so both are minus so whenever we multiplied the negative integer with the negative integer so we will get the product is the positive integer so 20 tens are so 20 tens are how much it is so it is nothing but 200 so now see the last one so 15 into minus 3 so here it is nothing but nothing there means plus right so plus into minus it is nothing but minus so 15 threes are so how much it is so 40 so it is nothing but minus 45 so this is uh, the first question of the exercise 4 okay so now see the second question so find the product of the following numbers so we have to find the product of these all okay so the few 3 or 4 are still there that you just try afterwards okay so now we will just complete this uh, see the first question so 3 into minus 1 so we know the product of a positive integer so nothing there means we know it is a plus so plus into minus it is nothing but minus so 3 ones are 3 right so first answer it is 3 into minus 1 is how much it is minus 3 now see the second one so minus 1 into 225 so here minus into plus how much it is minus so 1 into 225 the same 225 only we will get okay so what about the next so minus 21 into minus 30 so 20 minus into minus first it is plus so 21 threes are so 21 threes are how much it is so 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 and 0 as it is so it means it is plus 630 now see the fourth one so minus into minus so it is plus so 1 into 3 16 so it is nothing but 316 only now see the fifth one so minus into minus 15 into 0 into minus 18 
so we know that if you multiply 0 to any numbers we will get the product is 0 only so it means 0 into how many numbers you take so it is 0 only so it's simply you can write 0 so minus 15 0 is a 0 0 into 18 minus 18 it is nothing but it is also 0 only ok so now see the minus into minus it is a plus so plus into plus so it is nothing but plus we will get so the product whatever it may be we will get plus only now see so 12 11 za. so how much you will get 12 11 za. so 1 2 za 2 1 1 za 1 and 1 2 za 2 so 1 1 za so it means what is your answer so 132 so 12 into 11 how much we will get 132 and 10 za is there now so it is nothing but 1320 so it means 1320 if you multiply this all and minus into minus it is going to become plus so understood now see the last one so 9 into minus 3 into minus 6 the first the plus into minus it is minus so minus into minus it is plus so you can also remember like this see here we have a two negative integers so two negative integers means two means what it is an even number so even number of integers negative integers if we have the product we will get a positive same here also so we have a two negative integers so the product is you will get plus only so it means now 9 3 is a so it is 27 so what you will get so 9 3 is a 27 into so what is another number it is see so yeah so 9 into minus 3 so it is minus 27 next what is left here minus 6 so now just multiply so minus into minus it is plus 6 7 za. so it is a 42 right so 4 is there and 6 2 za. 12 so 12 plus 4 so it is 162 right ok so now so like this we have to find the product of any numbers ok just simply remember so you should be careful when you are multiplying a negative integers with the positive integers ok so either the answer is a positive or negative the multiplication you will do but the symbol whatever the sign that product having that is very important ok so now see the next ok it is very simple just multiplication ok so you have to multiply the numbers and the main thing we have to remember that four rules whatever it is the product of two positive integers the product of one negative one positive and product of two negative numbers ok so what it will be so that all you have to remember now see the next bit yes so yeah so the third question so I am just reading the question so try to understand from that we will write whatever is given ok so a certain freezing process requires that the room temperature be lowered from 40 degrees Celsius at a rate of 5 degrees Celsius every hour. Okay, so what he is saying in the question means certain freezing process requires that room temperature be lowered from 40 degrees Celsius at the rate of 5 degrees Celsius every hour. What will be the room temperature? 10 hour after the process begins so what is the meaning of this so initial so see what is saying means room temperature is 40 degrees celsius now it is a 40 degrees celsius okay now let's take the time is 9 o'clock so at 9 o'clock so the room temperature is how much it is a 40 degrees celsius so now what is saying in the question means for every hour what will happen means so 5 5 degrees so it is decreasing so okay so lowered from so he is saying lowered means it is decreasing so for every hour so how many degrees it is uh, decreasing so 5 degrees celsius so 5 degrees celsius is reducing okay the temperature so the 9 o'clock it is a uh, 40 degree means so 10 o'clock what will happen so it is going to become so 40 minus 5 it is nothing but 35 degrees celsius 
so at 11 o'clock what will happen so once again 5 degrees reduce so it means 30 degrees celsius next 25 degrees next however it is 20 so like that it is decreasing right so now what is the question he is asking what will be the room temperature temperature 10 hours after the process begins so it means after 10 hours he is asking now so okay so now what is given now so we just